take a look at this video. This young man you see here is one of the most talented Nigerian you'll ever see. This guy is building a jet engine. Now watch. Yes, this guy is building this thing right from scratch. You are going to see how he started from scratch. This is unbelievable and this is the first of its kind in the whole of nigeria if not the whole of africa the first time a nigerian will ever build a jet engine for those who don't know what a jet engine is this is the same engine that aeroplanes use that rockets use this guy is aspiring to become <laughs> if not bigger than the elon musk of africa this guy is going places now watch and see him do the final test on this mac 3 then you will now see how he started building this thing from scratch right from where that shot to in fact you see everything from mac 1 to mac 3 keep watching He had to stop the engine at 35,000 RPM because he needed. They needed EM off. EM off is something that helps them to protect their ear because of the sound. Because this thing is very loud. As much, just if you if you have ever stayed around where an aeroplane is trying to take off, you know exactly how it works. Now, this was this young man when he was building this thing. This was the Mark One when he was building the Mark One, and you're going to see all the parts. You can see this was how he started this thing, and it's not up to three months because I've been following up with this project on Twitter. And it is not up to three months he started building this thing and today the engine has been tested and is working perfectly yes this is the same engine that both your rockets your fighter jets your all those big big uh, flying objects use this was the mark one you can see so from this mark one you could tell exactly how the process it, he went through before he could reach that Mark 3. Now, this is the Mark 2 in process. He, he was this was when, when he was constructing the Mark 2. Now he was building this in day and night, day and night, until he finished the Mark 2. Now watch and see him test the Mark 2. This is a part of the Mark 2. You will see him testing that Mark 2 after he has completed it. Now watch. For those who will say, oh, it was assembled, please, you can see him now, building it from scratch. Now, on the day he tested the Mark II, which you're seeing now, he was alone. And watch closely, you will see exactly the difference between this Mark II and Mark III. You now know <laughs> why that Mark III is actually called Mark III. You can see all the batteries he used. For you to know that what he, this thing is not he's not a uh, child's play. Test from the Mark III model behind me, you see over there. So, hot test today finally the ELDC motor came in. Uh, we've done preliminary checks, we've got some gas valves, protection, uh, and nets. Which I'll let me show you. So you don't think I'm joking. Okay, for your extinguisher, main gas tank, auxiliary gas tank, batteries, gas system. Mark III from our double jet engine. We'll be hot firing today. Yep. So, that's it. That's it. We're ready. So, let's hope this goes as planned. Peace. Yes, this was the first time he tested the Mark III. That time it was using a particular kind of gasket. Now, watch and see what happened to the gasket for he now built this final model. Keep watching. Now keep watching. On the first time he tested this Mark III, which is this day, the gaskets 
this you see how that gasket um the exhaust liner is going to become red hot and in fact he had to he, the gasket actually burned that he had to now change the design before he finally arrived at a working mark 3 that you see now look at that exhaust liner you can see how red hot it is <laughs> this is happening live in airborne state like this is live in nigeria it's okay keep watching you see the final stage now don't forget that this is the first stage of the mark 3 the first stage test of mark 3 now because of this gasket that got that keeps getting burnt now he finally transitioned into a particular design that you are going to see you can see the exhaust line out the gasket that the way it's getting red hot now he started getting burnt also so he had to stop it now this is the final stage of the mantra watch and see for yourself this is unbelievable life in a bony state in nigeria the first of its kind on this soil unbelievable The smoke coming out is from the things that is used to put the, the body of the, the metal there. Because the temperature of that thing is actually very high. They couldn't do much test and he had to stop this because it became very loud that they needed PM off, which will be, according to him, it will be arriving by next week. And by then they will be running the engine to its highest capacity. <laughs> By then, maybe watch.